All right, so I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention or if the little lockdown that we had kind of made me uh, miss a couple, but let me point this out to you because there are a lot of first appearances that just came out this week, and if you don't have them, you should go get them because a lot of first appearances end up being worth more money and they're highly collectible so usually any comic that is worth anything is going to be uh, a first appearance right so this one right here superman 23 all of these just came out this week unless i tell you different so this one right here is the first appearance of xanadoth which is this guy back here so it's a villain so we got a new villain here and then we have Strange Academy number two, which is going to be the second appearance of uh, Doyle Dormammu, which is Dormammu's uh, half son. And that's his first solo cover. So we got that. It's a variant edition. And then uh, it's also the second appearance of uh, Emily Bright. And then this one right here is the first full appearance of the Lord of the Void. Hawkman number 25. All right, so I'd definitely go grab this one here. Uh, his cameo was on number 24, so if you see that one there, grab it too. And then we have the Flash 757. And this one is the first team appearance of the Legion of Zoom. And then we have Justice League number 48. And this is going to be the first cameo appearance of Empress Sedinx. I guess that's how you pronounce it. But it is a first cameo appearance. So uh need to get on that. So this one here also came out this week. And it is going to be the first battle between Harley Quinn and Punchline. Now I did flip through it real quick. I haven't read it. Um... I saw Punchline in there. I didn't exactly see the exchange between Harley and uh, uh, Punchline. But maybe I was just moving a little too fast. But I definitely snagged another copy of this because I did order about four of them. Now this one here, I picked up just because Booster Gold actually gets a kiss from Harley Quinn so is that gonna be Harley Quinn's new boyfriend I mean she did break up with the Joker so is Booster Gold her new boyfriend so I wanted to get that because my kids had given me a Funko Pop of Booster Gold and I've got a few uh, Booster Gold comic books since then so I wanted to add this to it it seems like they're reviving the character from what I understand they're gonna be having a uh, some type of TV series or he's going to show up in, in some type of movie. Now this is an older one. I did see it there. I had a few of them. And it is Flash Forward number 6. And this is when Flash sits on the Mobius chair. And it is a variant cover. I have the original one. I hadn't seen this cover but I wanted to get it. Because this is a significant point right here. He actually sits in a Mobius chair. And he gains powers like... Um, like Dr. Manhattan. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see a different version of Flash from this point forward. I was also able to find this, which is uh, Flash versus Wildcat. And I had just been talking about Wildcat because he's actually a boxer. He's a professional boxer. And uh, uh, I was looking into uh, superheroes that that might be boxers for my sons. I know that I want to get my hands on that uh, Superman versus uh, Muhammad Ali. But uh, it's definitely cool that I got my first Wildcat uh, comic. And he's beating up Flash on the cover. So that's pretty cool. And then I picked up this. Justice League 3001. Look at that. So definitely guys. I would... Go to the local comic shop and try to pick some of these up this weekend. Go back, watch it, write down the ones. That way you have the first appearances. But uh, definitely uh, take those first appearances to heart because I've had one that shot up. I mean, given it was the Hell Arisen uh, where Punchline made her cameo. and Or I guess that was the first full appearance. And, uh, you know, that shot up to about 70 bucks over the course of a few months. So 
I definitely go get at least a couple of them, you know, go spend a couple bucks. They, you know, I, I had this one uh, investment lesson, right? And it said, if what you're investing in stands to uh, go up in value 10 times of what you paid for it, then that's a bet that you take 10 times. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to be buying almost every single first appearance that comes out from this point forward and maybe buy doubles. That way I could keep a copy. And if they go up in value and I feel like selling it, because I haven't sold any comics yet, but if I do feel like selling one, then I'll definitely have a second copy. Or if somebody needs one that I'm cool with and they need a favor, I'll just go ahead and help them out. But the first appearances, definitely snag them. There's a lot of cool ones. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Let everybody know. Go pick them up before they're gone. There were only a few of this one here left. This uh, Zandoff one. He looks like he'd show up in a movie, right? Might be gearing it up for that. All right, y'all.